passing through Bridgetown in uh, the outskirts of Cannock and of course Hensford. And the main toll, M6 toll. See, the, with the M6 toll free, they were saying free to lorries. They were saying, oh, we'll get rid of all the lorries onto the M6 toll. But they're not going onto the M6 toll. No. Because, of course, once you're on the M6 toll, you can't always take the roads that you, you need to take to get to where you want to go. Go okay, now. You need it, so are you doing? Once you're on it, you're stuck. Yep, we do Gone. Bold, Yeah. I often are. I was noticing in uh, Norway and Iceland, the uh, the lorries are going past us, uh, and and our coaches. You know, the tread was uh, quite a way down. And Very poor. Yeah. But you see, apart from Hong Kong, Singapore, and India. You don't get traffic like this. Yeah, yeah. And of course, this is overpopulation because Singapore is only as big, only as big, just a bit bigger than Wolverhampton. But you've got billions of people living there. Uh, you, you've just got too much population, and of course, in two bigger cars, despite a very good public um, transport system, um, yeah, the people yeah. are going to use the car because if you want to stop between A and B and do errands, you can't do it on public transport. Yeah, yeah. Especially, I mean, this is the, the silliness with HS2. Or it will oh, connect yes. all the cities of, of the, uh, the country together. Only if you want to get from Birmingham to London without stopping. But if you want to get from Birmingham to Northampton, it's no good to you. Yeah. Because there's no, there's no uh, you can't do station. It. The Express and Star released a picture of that yeah. the other day, or the bullet train, you know, you know the, the equivalent, and they said, oh, this is brilliant, this is, and I said exactly what you said, uh, the plans for that had been seen, what about the extra height for the pandagraphs, the gantries and the cables, right. how does it run? I pointed it out to the MP again, he'll, he'll turn around secretly and say, oh, this is a, this is a, a good thing that uh, we're keeping these obscure because people won't realise what's going on and they'll say, oh, it's no problem. And that, and then, of course, when it does come out, they'll say, hey, we weren't, weren't told about this. Yeah, yeah. And, you, and of course, the employees will turn around and say, well, you should have known. Yeah. Well, they haven't accounted for the extra height in the drawings. Well, of course, and the, as you know, just back from me, there are pylons. Well, they can't put the pylons through the ground because of the cost. They can't put lower the pylons because of people sort of uh, hitting them with a tractor as they're going across the fields, as you might it, say. Yeah, yeah. So they've got to come over the top of the pylons, which means they're going to be even uh, it's going to be even higher than what they reckon. So I, I've turned around and said this is going to be 75 foot above. The, that's two two house heights above the the normal ground. You can't come through a tunnel because it's a floodplain. Um, and and you, if you're going to go over those pylon lines, you can't go over and down and over and down yeah, because yeah. of the gradient. Uh, because the HS2 works on the fact there's no gradients. Yeah. You've got to keep it level. Uh, I said so. This is going to be a terrific height. And if something goes wrong up there. You think of the men who are working at that height yeah, to yeah. repair the wires, because of course a 200 mile an hour train is going to pull down the wires in this heat or in winter in winter cold quicker than anything. Yeah, yeah. And uh, if you're working up on a viaduct, you've got a shear drop. If you're working up on a gradient, you've got to get the uh, equipment up to that gradient. Up to that, yeah. It, there's a lot of things hasn't been sorted and, and thought out with that. I've missed a lot of things. Well, of course, when I went to the meeting in Litchfield uh, about five weeks ago, um, I, I pointed out <laughs> two things, and they, the chap would turn around and said, oh, well, we haven't thought of that. And of course, this is why they want a consultation meeting. Yeah. Because you know the area, and therefore, because they don't know the area, you will tell them things that they need to take into account. Account, yeah, yeah. And that's why the price is slowly beginning to rise, even though nothing's being done, because they're now beginning to realise just how much they have got to do. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's not as simple as oh, we'll just build one of those and that's it. That's it. Yeah, yeah. This weather's very, very nice, but it's going to break, just as the children break up for holiday. For holiday, six weeks as well, yeah, yeah. Oh, Dee was on about that yesterday, actually. Um, I've got to think of things to do for the six weeks holiday coming. Yeah. Um, and, of course, coming over to, to uh, the, the West Park City show um, was something different because she'd not been to the West Park. Yeah. Um, and she was on about the uh, the Chase Water Railway actually, and the, and the railway that used to be in uh, in the Arboretum. Yeah. Um, because she used to live on the uh, the grounds come in the. Come on, come on! There's nothing coming. You sort of. Uh... <laughs> it's hanging about, isn't it? Here, it's gonna go slow. And uh, she used to live in the, the, the grounds there with the teacher's house. Yeah. Um, so she sort of got connections with Warsaw as well there. Um, but yeah, particularly with the six weeks holiday, um, things to do for the, the children. There's a new youth centre to be built in Wolverhampton. Yeah. Um, quite large. Where it was, I don't know. I missed that part. But um, I, I see that much information. It's, it's hard to keep up sometimes. But... Um, there's a new youth centre sort of thing uh, supposedly being built in, in Wolverhampton. So whether that'll be in action for next year, 214, I don't know. I'm keeping an eye on that, Mike. Well, pretending like one of the bulls, they've smashed it up, haven't they? The vandals have been throwing stones at it, etc. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, they set fire to the... Is it, I think it was in East Park, or it was in yeah, one of the parks. Pavilion. The pavilion thing that's that had been there for years, yeah. and they set fire to it. Yeah. You know, they, they build it for them, but they, then they ruin it when it's built. Well, they say we haven't got we haven't got all the facilities. They give them the facilities, they smash them up, and they ruin them. Yeah. Or one of the seeing that Prince of Wales pub there um, reminds me of the Sir Robert Peel pub in uh, Blockswich, and one of the police officers, one of the chief police officers, he was a, awarded the Robert Peel Award. Yeah. Uh, probably probably about two weeks back now. And uh, that was released on news. I, I, I caught a bit of that. I missed these lights, so I might as well slow down. Yeah. yeah. I'm going on the outside and get, out from, get past this prefab. Oh, he's going past, hasn't he? Yeah, he's gone. I'm surprised he went. Yeah, he shouldn't have done it. No. He's on red. Was Nan and Pop's anniversary that we had there? 50th. 50th. Yeah. We went there to look in, in, the, in the terrace in a. Was it a Daimler? It was, wasn't it? A Daimler Rolls. Yeah, it could have been. Yeah. Uh, that they we went there. In the, in the Rolls. Y yeah, and yeah. We, we all turned up as normal. Oh, yeah, but that was the Belvedere with the Rolls. I think with the terrace, with the 50th, they just turned up in... It, it, it's normal, normal yeah. yeah. And so I remember that because we had the uh, the camera from the uh, school at the time for that one. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Back in the day on a tripod and the wire. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't work with batteries then. <laughs> this is this annoyance that you'd overtook him once. See, oh, he's on his brakes again for nothing. There's nothing in front of him. Sunday driver on a Monday morning. Yeah. It's a de-restricted here. There we go, he's off. De-restricted, but yeah, you got the island straight away. Yeah. Uh, so you go around the island, 70. 70, yeah. yeah. Or you're uh, allowed to go around at 70. <laughs> on two wheels. <laughs> I don't think it'd even be two wheels. I don't think you'd do it, would you? No, you'd flip the car, I think. A 
I've still got that balloon up then. Yeah. He hasn't got his eye on the road, has he? Don't think he knows what's going on. Put your foot yeah. down, now this is your carriage, mate. I've got a clue, have they? Burton, Tamworth, Litchfield, Warsaw, 42. There we go. They were on about the Litchfield uh, Cathedral this morning. Yeah. Um, there's some sort of venue starts on the... Uh, oh, it's the 15th today. There's some sort of venue starts this evening. So, uh, is it in the choir and that? Is that yeah. what it is? Yeah. I saw something this morning, but I didn't get a chance to read all of it. I used to come this way to cut through and uh, come out onto the, the, the main uh, drag the other side to go up to Derby and up to Pride Park. Yeah. Of course you've come this way to, before to go to the barracks. There's some nice shots of the cathedral today, weren't there? Shot just as you get down to the roundabout. Is it? Yeah. What's that? The pump house there? That's the pump house, South Staffordshire Waterworks. Right. <laughs> this next bridge used to be the Walkshaw Litchfield railway line. It's only got one line down at the moment, it goes back to the, the A5. Do they use it? Is it no, not used? No. Not used. I do you remember us going to the down the country lane and having to go across the... Uh, oh, across the crossings, the, yeah. The level yeah. crossing as was. All over ground. Four, six, one, yeah, yeah. See, these are examples of lights that should be worked by the traffic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, they, they may have been since he's come across, but um, there should be press uh, press ramps around there that the traffic coming up that way, which is not very much, uh, sort of works these lights. Yeah, because this one's the main run through, isn't it? Straight across as a crossroad. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you're going to have this van in the way, but. Uh, View of the, uh, the city. See what we can do. There's Litchfield. Let's go in in a second. Yeah, the Go on! Lincoln! <laughs> Litchfield taxi sitting there and looking. <laughs> Of course, he wants more money, doesn't he? Yeah, more money to sit there, isn't he? <laughs> it's meters ticking. You've got the view now. What have you been doing? You don't know. You can see straight through this spire, can't you? Yeah. yeah. Uh, 
hopefully won't do no harm. <coughs> you shouldn't do. Lemon tea. Beat the tractor, look at Ling Yeah. Stuck behind him all the way. We're just going through the centre of Lichfield now and just round. It's hot as well. Tuesday, there are no rush today, is it? Yeah, there's the three spires. Yeah, it's where we go. It's where we are. I don't give him over, dogs. <laughs> okay, I'll put his last in for him. Yeah, yeah. He told me to me. This morning? Yeah, and he told Jenny, so Jenny's put him in Oh, what is it, aspirins? Yeah. Um, Just to give him to thin in the blood. Oh, right, normal. It's too much problem. No. What's the, the milligrams? 40. Oh, so it's quite low. Yeah. He it's could have told Well, yeah. Seeing as he knows anyway. <laughs> I saw her in the town. Uh, no, children. Yeah, a couple of weeks ago. She looks like she's on heroin. Looks like she's on fucking summer. Oh yeah. Have you seen the state of her face? You need to shave. I told her the other day. I said you need to shave. Yeah. Growing a moustache, growing a beard. Looks like has got scabs all over her face and has been picking them. And to me, that is drug use. Heavy drug use of. Um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, powder, uh, heroin, or uh, sp um, speed? You know this sort of thing. Well, Cocaine. I think she's staying with um, Tony. Oh, again. Yes. Uh, scabs all over the face. Face. He's using chancre, which is uh, um, a. Uh, it looks horrible. I mean, you can s clearly just see think, it. Just think of the <laughs> thinking of the name. It's like no, scurvy. No, no, it's it's um, <laughs> uh, a sexual disease. Ah, oh, showing on the face. Now that wouldn't surprise us, would it? Well, no. Um, and last week, kind of, I went to the pool on Monday. The, 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 the old name for it was VD. Right, right. Now she was waiting for Annabelle the other day. Yeah, and she was waiting for you in the town when yeah, I she seen her. That's right, yeah, yeah. She, because Annabelle went to the pool, she turned around to Jenny and said, Well, I'll put my money in your bank. And I'm like, No, you won't. <laughs> uh, no, I said that because I was, I was on my way to Paul's, but I had to go to the job centre first to see about this new enterprise scheme. And that was the day I saw her. So it was uh, mon Monday of last week, I think, or Tuesday of last week. And I saw her in the town, and of course I, I stopped briefly in passing, you know. And uh, and, it, and as I say, she was on about it, and she said she was waiting for you and, and, and Annabelle uh, in the town. And uh, of course I, I left, I got things to do, you know. So that was the end of the conversation. But I, I did say to her, why haven't you opened a post office account? Same thing, we said, why don't you open your own bank account? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. As long as you've got your card and your pin, that remains unless you close it. 
Uh, of course, unless it's got itself and into a. The phone. So me and Jenny, when me and Jenny said, oh, you've got talking back from Bowie, then are you? And she went, no, it's not Bowie, his name's Tom. Yeah, why? Because we're called the Willow. Yeah. Add the name Dick and Harry as well. Yes. Yeah. So she backed the Bowie boy and said to him as well. And of course, he, he was um, um, having a sexual relationship with a 15 year old. Huh? So Kelly was jumping all over that, oh, I'm going to do to, I'm sending him to jail, I am not going to get him to the police, I am, blah, blah, blah. But yet she's done nothing with her life since. And she's still in the same position that she was ten years ago. Yeah. With nothing. Uh, chancras all over the face is an STD, sexually transmitted disease. It, that's what it, it looks like... Um, she smiles at teeth of white eyes. It's a cold like, sores. Yeah, it yeah. Like cold sores. Yeah, a face full of cold sores, yes. Yeah. It doesn't look very attractive, does it? Let's put it that way. And her teeth are just a... <laughs> it's got blankets I mean, on her teeth. Like, you need to brush your teeth. Should I do it this morning? Yes, of course, it looks like it. <laughs> now, can I put this into the garage because of the, uh, the heat? Right. So, as soon as you're out, I'll... Uh, Right, we jump out then and you can go into the... Yeah. Oh, you see, the into the this isn't in the shade now. I was trying to get back to this bit of slabbing here. Right, right. It was in the shade. Oh, I don't know. Let me go. Yeah, because the kids. <laughs> Are you stuck? <laughs> I think Mum's is in the garage. It is, it's warm again, yes. Yeah, Mum's is there. Had all the stripping put in but stop the, the floods. And of course at the old house at Chanterelle had the drainage put in there at the front of the, the garages. Ye yeah, you know this done as well. It's a lot better than, uh, it's a lot better than it was though, isn't it? Much tidier. I'll go around the side then, through the gate, and uh, go in the back way. See, Dad was bothered about lifting the doors and those put on. Right. Well, I've got the cover and. Uh, yeah, you can smell the paint. And smell the paint of the gate over the weekend. Yeah, yeah. And I've also the, uh, done the tops of all the panels all the way around, giving them extra, right. an extra treatment. Right. Now one job, you can save which, on might, the bins, which you? might be the job, is to scrape out the grit there yeah. and put yeah. in another line of cobbles that I've got at the, the end already, there. Right. already done. Right. And that might be the coolest job because you can Where we are, always yeah. in the shade yeah. and you've always got the wind coming through. Right. And that's right. how you might, uh, if you want to, sort of start with that. Or how much of that front is actually under in the shade? All we've got to do here, all we've got to do here is scrape out. Oh, the right, yeah. In the middle. Take that out. Just, oh, uh, no worries. So just take a tool and just crisscross it. We'll start at that end, do a slab at a time, we'll work down and shovel it all And, and come out there, yeah. So, right. That might not be too bad. You see, the uh, the problem is this this compo. Oh, I see. Yeah, uh, that's what they put in it. It's blinking hard. Yeah. 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 That's what they put in. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's right. To when I go around with my stuff, I should just have to put in little bits here and there. Yeah. Yeah. And the the one down the side, they haven't done at all. So. Uh, no. no. So when. When I open my bag of stuff, then I've got to do these little bits, and there's a little bit on the corner up there, and of course, b between the slabs there. Right, right. So where do you want to, to start? Well, well, do you think you can yeah. manage down there before it gets too hot? Start at the front, because we'll have midday and sort of mid-afternoon else. That's right. And then... The side can... <laughs> we can... Um, do the latter of. Mix the concrete. Sort of here, right? It's in the shade. Yeah, yeah. And you've got the water, 
Do. Oh right, it's yeah. That, that bit there. Right, yeah. Uh, because yeah. they dumped me enough stuff. Right. So um, that they got left over, and they're just going to chuck it away. I said, "Hey, I can use it." Use it, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. In any case, um, and you, you see what I've done there. So I've just got to fill in that. Fill in that and bring that on the top there. there. And that's got to come up to the bottom of the door. Right, right. And then I've just got to uh, uh, run in with the. Uh, the mower. With the mower, then make it easier to go in and out with it. Right. Yeah. And of course, any compo that I've got left before it goes off, I just dump on the slabs there, uh, or even on the, the slabs up here, which are already uh, and fill open. those. Yeah. They've already yeah. got the gap in them. Yeah. And you've only just got to brush it into place and just carry on brushing and fill in the gaps. Right. Right. And then I should all around the garden at, at some point and uh, right. then no weeds will grow up like you know is growing between the slabs yeah there. yeah all right right so uh, let's crack on <laughs>